I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Linda Findlay. She is the CEO of Blue Apron. Linda, wonderful to talk with you today. Thanks for joining me on the floor. Thanks so much for having it. So Linda, you're here today because you're celebrating the 10 year anniversary of Blue Apron. Tell me what this milestone means to you and what's happened at the company over the past decade. So this milestone is actually incredible for us. We, you know, we started in 2012 and since then we have shipped 40, 483 million meals to people all over the United States. And we're really ready for the next phase of growth and very excited about the plans ahead. But we've just developed a bunch of different meals and a bunch of new options for people. And it's been an incredible time for the business. All right, well, right now we're in a time where we know that grocery prices are up, restaurant prices are up. Tell me, what's the value of your meal kit and how are you reaching new customers? So. It's very, very common in the United States for people to recognize that cooking at home can be a better value. And particularly in these inflationary times, Blue Apron meal kits actually provide for the quality of ingredients a much better value than going to the grocery store. So as we're seeing people eating out and buying groceries and seeing higher and higher bills, we can actually use our distribution model and our purchasing power to bring prices down for consumers where they can still get quality and variety at the same time. 82% of Americans actually think that cooking at home is a much better value than eating out. And we're here to help them make that a much more joyful and fun experience by giving them the same quality of ingredients they might get at a restaurant for a much better price. All right, now you became CEO of Blue Apron back in 2019. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what have you been most focused on over the past few years and what has been your biggest achievement? Our biggest achievement over the past few years has clearly been the variety and the choice and the flexibility that we've added to the product. We had 17 choices when I joined the company. Now we have almost 60 choices on the menu and we give people a lot more ability to adapt to their dietary needs and to their family's needs. So that's been the most fun is really ramping our product and introducing new things, including our summer lobster box and some of the other special occasion boxes that we've recently put out. Now we're very focused on how do we turn that product growth into customer growth in the years coming forward. So it's really about bringing more and more people into the value of meal kits so they understand both the value that they can get from a cost perspective, but also, frankly, the, the um, you know, sustainability aspect of it, of the fact that we're 25% lower carbon footprint than going to the grocery store because of our lack of food waste. All right, so tell me what's next for Blue Apron and where do you see the industry going in the next 10 years? What's next for Blue Apron is continued innovation on the product, but it really is about engaging those new customer audiences. We have new options for families. We have new options for singles living alone. Um, empty nesters are still a big audience for us. And so we're seeing that grow really, really fast. So it's really about customer growth at this point and focusing on developing long-term, sustainable, profitable growth. Um, so that's, that's really what's coming next. All right. Well, wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me. Thanks so much.